Well, welcome to another segment on solutions for Voice Advisor. Now, as a reminder, what we're trying to do is we're trying to facilitate the practice and generalization of a learned social skill, social emotional development, that hopefully was gained in knowledge and acquisition within the Voice app. So, of course, this one's going to focus on direct instruction. And direct instruction is a proven solution, proven uh, strategy to be able to utilize to practice and generalize a learned social skill, that's our targeted skill, into the classroom, cafeteria, whatever environment. And so with direct instruction, there are a number of components. And what we're going to do in this video is review those components and facilitate towards implementation. So with that, our implementation guide uh, will start off with what is direct instruction. And direct instruction itself is primarily what it sounds like. It's an instructional approach. It's very explicit in nature. It allows for us as educators to model and make certain the individual understands what the approach is, guide the practice, correct when necessary, and allow for uh, independence and uh, guidance with that independence for, of course, successful access and implementation. So with that said, not surprisingly, direct instruction offers a sequence of components. And of course, the implementation guide that comes along with this, as well as the video model that we offer in terms of classroom illustration, will further facilitate our understanding of this. But let's begin. So direct instruction itself is, as I mentioned, very much an explicit instruction component. It's systematic, it's sequential, so the individual very much understands the steps, the sequence, and what's necessary from our perspective as well as from their perspective. So, as you can see from this visual, it's very much guided by us, the instructor, where the student is the recipient, understanding of it, and then can, after the modeling, uh, do it themselves. So, direct instruction itself, as I've been mentioning, is uh, individualized to the student. Uh, and of course, when we say individualized to the student for the voice perspective, this would go from the progress monitoring data that we've collected on the actual skill specific to the scenario. So with our understanding of how efficient the individual has been with the time, as well as successful in terms of the completion, we would then target our skill and adjust our uh, introduction, or adjust our sequence based on that data. That's very, very critical. And of course, that's not specific to voice. That's more specific to the direct instruction intervention. Now, we're also trying to make certain that these concepts, in this instance, the targeted skill for the social skill, is uh, mastered uh, to, well, it, it's understood to a mastery level. And that's, of course, what we want for that practice and generalization. So, let's focus on implementation. So, from an implementation perspective, this visual really captures it all, right? It starts with I do, and then we do, and I being, of course, the educator, we do, uh, you do it together, okay, so we, we do it all together, and then finally the individual does it to a, a level of mastery. So with that in mind, first of all, we model. And as that image offered here, as well as the image offered earlier in the slides, uh, it's very much where we are modeling, we are directing as the educator. We're going to be very explicit in what we do, we're going to be very direct in what we do, using that direct instruction, and in so doing, the individual is going to be very clear on what's expected of them. Now, the next part is the guided practice, and the guided practice has a number of different components. So first of all, the guided practice allows the individual to practice the drill. So individual to practice that skill that they've learned about and now practice actually into the classroom, cafeteria, the real environment. In addition, we systematically deliver when necessary the supports uh, as the individual goes along. So we target the skill. We allow for some practice, we allow for modeling, to a point where basically we repeat as necessary, so it's very much ingrained into the individual in what's expected of them. Now, when of course they are able to do it and they have that level of mastery, we wanna be very positive in our reinforcement. And of course then, hey, we've got it, opportunity then for them to implement independently, uh, that practice is necessary, we, of course, prompt where necessary, we guide where necessary to a level of success. And now the individual is applying that social skill into the environment in which they were introduced to it uh, within the virtual reality, but they're doing it in the real reality, right? The real time in the classroom, cafeteria, uh, hallway, wherever it is that we're trying to within the school environment. 
Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier, and if you've already seen these, we have videos illustrating this uh, in the classroom environment. And so that would be the next thing I would suggest you take a look at is take a look at the direct instruction video where we actually apply it to the classroom. In addition, of course, we haven't created this. There's a number of different resources out there for a better understanding of direct instruction. We urge you to take a look at those. Those are linked as well to this space within the Voice Advisor. And finally, of course, the implementation guide, which offers a step-by-step -step process, which we've overviewed for that kind of just-in-time support. So again, this is one of many solutions to facilitate practice and generalization within the Voice Advisor for the Voice app targeting social skills for individuals uh, with disabilities. Hope this has been helpful.